bless you. Kakadosh, I wanted to share with you another incredible concept, which goes as follows. Again, we know that we are in the middle of the entire concept of Sefirat HaOmer. All these parashiot, parashat Kedoshim especially, is actually full of so many types of mitzvot that are interpersonal relationships. Mitzvot have to do with us and other people. And we know that when it says, Rabbi Akiva says, Ze kelal gadol batorah. What does that mean? This is a very important general rule in the Torah. And that's why the Gemara Mesechet Shabbat Lamed Aleph Amud Aleph says that when the Goy came in front of Shammai and he told Shammai, convert me. He says, okay, I'll convert you, right? Don't worry, no problem, right? So one second. So he says over here, convert me on condition that what? You're going to teach me the entire Torah when I'm standing on one foot. Shammai comes and he pushes him. He says, what, do you think you're crazy? You think I could teach you that? You know, somebody comes to me, ah, Rabbi, I want you to give me Chatan lessons. Okay, fine. Uh, no, I only want one lesson. I said, what am I going to teach you? One lesson. You can't even teach the, the Aleph Bet in one lesson. How are you going to teach Chatan classes? Well, Chatan lessons is supposed to be, right, for the, the, the for everything. Yeah, for the rest of your life. Right? You have to pay attention. You're going to tell me now that you're going to teach you in one minute? How does that work? Well, that's the way it is. That's what he wanted. Right? He pushed him away. What did he, he comes in front of Hillel. And then he tells Hillel, Hillel, can you convert me? He says, yeah, no problem. On one foot, no problem. He comes and he says, whatever you hate, don't do it to your friends. Whatever you hate, don't do it to your friend. He says, okay, fine, no problem. Don't do it to your friend. Now, the question that we ask ourselves is, that when Farshim come and they say, the Kavanah of Hillel was actually to say, right, that's what he wanted to say. So the question is, one second, if this is correct to do with, you know, the mitzvot, but that's to do with Ben Adam the But why is that the entire Torah? The entire Torah is not interpersonal relationships, right? There's also Ben Adam the What about us and Hashem? You're only doing us and our friends. What about us and Hashem? And even more so, why is the rest of the Torah only a pirush, only an explanation of the Avatar HaKomocha? Because he came and he told them, whatever you don't want to do to yourself, whatever you don't like to do to yourself, don't do to your friend. Learn this, and the rest is all explanation. Well, the rest of the Torah is an explanation about Tarek HaMocha? What does that mean exactly? So the explanation is, is like this. We learned, Shekalal Kola Torah Kula, that the entire Torah is based upon what? Emuna and Hashem Yitbarach. As the Gemara Makot says, Kavdal Adam Udalef, Ba David, the Midan Alechat. Right? What does that mean? David HaMelech came and he said that there's going to be 11 mean mitzvot we have. Wow. Yeshayahu came and he said, Right? One second. Shesh, there's six mitzvot. Comes Micha, he says there's three mitzvot. Came Chabakuk, he said there's one mitzvah. And what does that mean? They're not saying that there's only one mitzvah in the entire Torah. But if you're going to come and focus, and you're going to make a synopsis, what is the main thing that you have to pay attention to? Chabakuk came and he said, And that's what the Gaon says in many different places, whether it's in Mishle, that he says, That he says, the entire purpose of the Torah being given to the Jews is in order that we should have bitachon nashem. Right? As it says, Islam, and he says, mm-hmm. the ikar of everything is the bitachon. And that is the klal of all the mitzvot. Okay. And that's why the Gaon also says on Habakkuk that bitachon u klal lechol amidot. Bitachon and Hashem is the general rule for all the mitzvot. Okay. Very nice. The Khatam Sofer comes and he asks on the Gemara, why did he say that it's on the Munah of Hashem Yitbarach? The Torah could have, why didn't he say, Vav Talacha Kumocha? Beautiful question. Why is he saying on Emuna, say Vav Talacha Kumocha? So he comes and he says, answers the Khatam Sofer, the Rashi on the Gemara there says, Talach Sane Lechavra Achla Tavid, Ve'achav Re'a Vicha Al Tazov. That's a Kadosh Baruch Hu, which means don't go against the words of Hashem. Right? Why? Sharia Lecha Sanu Yishi Avor Chavar, because you don't like it when somebody goes against your words. Meaning, just like you don't like that if you say A, somebody will go against you, don't go against the words of Hashem. So therefore, when it says, it does not only mean your friend, it means Hashem. You have to love Hashem, but you're not going to like yourself. Meaning that just like you don't like, if I'm going to tell you, listen, don't do this, and you do it, and you don't like it, so don't go against the words of Hashem as well. So he says, 
ומשכיח ומנהיג העולם כולו, הקדוש ברוך הוא, that he's doing good, and he's always looking, ואם הייתי, אני עושה כן לאחר, if I would have done that to somebody else, it wouldn't have been nice in my eyes. So so too to your friend, which means כל שכן to הקדוש ברוך הוא, that you don't do such a thing. Because he's giving you פרנסה, he's giving you life. How are you going to go against his words? So if so, somebody that believes that הקדוש ברוך הוא, and his השכחתו, and הנגרותו, and everything, just like a min agoya zeh, that what, that he coming to convert, so too it's already enough. But somebody that he says that it's not a Kadosh Baruch Hu, that he's not the one that's coming, and he's giving you parnasa and he's not giving you all these things, so it's nothing to do. Therefore, Chabaku came and he said, Tzadik b'munato yichyeh. First, you have to believe in a Kadosh Baruch Hu. If you believe in a Kadosh Baruch Hu, mimeila through ve'avtarach ha'kamocha, you could be mekayem the entire Torah kula. But that's only after you already have bitachon on a Kadosh Baruch Hu. So it comes out that the reason that Rabbi Abtarach HaKamocha is a klal of the entire Torah is only because you believe in Hashem. Because if you didn't believe in Hashem and you didn't believe that He's the one that's giving you parnasah and giving you life and is bringing you everything, so then you would go against it. You don't care. And that's the kavana of the chovot alevavot. Listen to this. Yesod ha-yesodot ba-avodat elokim banui al chovat ha-karat ha-tov. The yesod of the yesodot in HaKadosh Baruch Hu is built upon HaKadat HaTov. And only after a person recognizes all that which HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives to him every single second, second of the day, because of that HaKadat, that recognition, the Sechel will come and say, the logic will come and say, I'm obligated to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu, my creator. Because you cannot go and go against him if you realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Mashkiach and he comes and he puts his Ashkacha Pratit, his divine providence on you. And somebody that does not do the Ratzon of Hashem Yitbarach, it, on, it only means that he doesn't have a Muna in Hashem Yitbarach. It's an incredible Yisod. However though, right, so this is the first explanation of what we just have to understand. However though, there's another explanation. Avat Yisrael is only with a Muna. However, we wanted to explain another explanation. Lo yitachen kelal, we cannot fulfill the mitzvah ve'avtela chakamocha without emunah in Hashem Yitbarach. Because as long as you don't believe with emunah shlema, meaning you don't believe in true emunah in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that He's the one that He's directing everything and He does everything, so then you can't, you can't love every single Jew. Because if a Jew does for you something bad, you're going to say, because He's bad. And therefore I'm going to hate Him and I'm not going to love Him. But somebody that has strong emunah in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and he believes b'emunah shlema, that nobody could do something without being decreed from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and everything which is being done is coming from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if so, right? If so, even if, and that's what we're trying to say here, if so, even if his friend does some type of an avla, it's not going to come and it's not going to take away the ava. Because at the end of the day, you know that the, the friend is not the reason for the bad. It comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So it comes out now we understand why Vavta HaKadosh is a Kral Gadol Torah. Because it actually has everything to do with Emunah and Hashem Yitbarach. So in order to become, to be Mekayim the Mitzvah of Avat Yisrael, we have to believe Bemet and Hashem first. And if you believe in Hashem, and then you're, so you're going to be Mekayim the entire Torah. And you're not going to do Averot. And that's exactly what the Chatan Sofer says. So let's see exactly when we're talking about this. So he comes and he says, Right? Like this. He says, Ulfize, we can actually understand the Kesher from the beginning of the Pasuk to the end of the Pasuk. We're going to say the, 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 the words of the Chinuch. Mitzvah Reshmem Aleph. He comes and he speaks about Isur Nekama. Shieda Adam that a person should know V'yitene libo ki kol asher yikra mitov al-ra'a. Anything what's going to happen. Whether it's going to be good from, until bad. Usiba she tavu alav me'et Hashem baruchu. It's a reason that it's coming from Hashem. Umiyada Adam yad Yisrael. There's nothing that's going to happen that's going to get it on Hashem. And therefore, when they're going to make you suffer or they're going to make you hurt, a person should understand that it's his own sins which are causing those things to happen. And a person shouldn't put machshavotav, ninkomi menu, that is, it's nothing to do with it. That one is nothing to do with anything. Just like Shibi ben Gerada, the Vizimena came and he said, no, leave him curse. It comes from Hashem, there's nothing else. What do you want? And that's how we're going to come and we're going to be dan lechav zechut. Why? Any type of a type of an action, you're going to come and you're going to say, you could be dan lechav zechut. Why? wasn't him. At the end of the day, even with Maser Resha and everything, at the end of the day, what's he do? He says, you're right. Maybe he wasn't the best of guys, that he was a bad messenger. But at the end of the day, right, the person just has to understand that this guy was the one that came and it comes from Hashem. 
right? And that's what a person has to actually understand, right? That's what he said. So even if you're not going to find anything to be done the Zechut, Zakalos Baruch maybe took away the Bechira from him in order that he should do it. Why? Because it had to be done to me. So maybe Yakalos Baruch just, he left him no choice, like Paro. He didn't leave him a choice. It doesn't make sense. After being beaten and beaten and beaten, again, you're going to do it. I would get the hit on the head. Yakalos Baruch took it away from him in order that he should do it. And that's the Tachlit of Kabbalat Torah. Tachlit of Yikar Netinata, the, the Torah, just like the Gaon says, was in order to, for us to have bitachon. And that's why the 24,000 students, they passed away. And that's why it's so important that we should realize that during this time, we have to pay attention. The what? That HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes and He tells us, this is a time that we have to actually become closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Sefirat HaOmen, to love each other, to love Avtach HaKamocha, to love Hashem, but bitachon and Hashem. The more that we have bitachon and Hashem, Bezrat Hashem, we're going to be able to come and to become closer to Hashem, Bezrat Hashem.